Hello everyone, this is Rory Williamson of the Everything Geek Podcast and here I am presenting my whole video from Invasion Dublin, the convention that I attended today. It was a good event, you know, I've been to the convention numerous times, like it was actually my first ever convention I went to four years ago, so I do like to continue going to and support I've been every year since. Um, and obviously I went this year as well as I just said and uh, compared to some of my convention halls you may have seen before um, it's not by any means my biggest hall. in fact it's actually one of my smallest convention halls um, but it's even though it's small it's actually only two things it's still actually really exciting so you know it doesn't even necessarily matter in terms of how small it is it's more the quality which is actually funny because I'm more of a quantity person. Yeah, that is funny, you know, kind of hypocritical actually. Um, but uh, the event was good. There were a few problems I had with it, more so beforehand. But I mean, I might go into that in detail a bit later on. But if I don't, um, after I show my the things I got on my haul, I will be doing it for a, definitely be analysing and talking about those things in a convention report I put on our podcast website later on so um so the two haul uh the two items i got for my haul both autographs and both from you know star wars legends that you know i've been meaning to meet for a while i just you know i mean you have to budget of course a lot if you want autographs and you know as i did say i'm more of a quantity person and um, you know it kind of made the decision decision easier to get these two autographs when you consider there were only four guests there so Firstly, I got Kenny Baker, R2-D2 himself. As you know, if you've been following our podcast for a while, uh, I, I, uh, I have become known as a behind-the-scenes addict, so... I mean, I could have gotten an actual shot of R2 signed from the film, from any of the films, but I actually ended up deciding, you know, this behind-the-scenes picture looks really good, you know. So I thought I should get him to sign that. It's really nice, you know, George Lucas, of course... Uh, is on it as well, you know, that was part of the appeal actually, as well as, you know, the behind the scenes addiction. Um, what's actually funny, and I only noticed this after I got Kenny's autograph on it, on the side, I'm not sure how you can see it, um, about here, maybe you can see it like that. Um, there's like a, someone's random hand like sticking into the frame of the photo, like I'm not even sure whose it is, you know. I'm sure there's going to be, um, you know, some crazy Star Wars autograph collector out there who's going to try and figure out whose hand that is. Um, alas, I would do the same, but, you know, I mean, I don't, I've, I mean, it'd probably be a waste of time on my part, but I'm sure there's someone who could, who out, out there who could find out whose hand that is. Um, but, yeah, you know, very nice picture. The other one I got, um, another Star Wars legend, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca himself, and this is a shot from the film, um, with either that a promotional picture, it's certainly not a behind the scenes picture, and a really nice image as well. Uh, neither of them were doing personalizations, which is fine. Um, you know, I used to have a bit of a reputation for only, only really wanting personalizations and not really being that happy if they weren't personalized, but I mean, it's not so much that I've gone over that, it's just the fact that autographs you know, I'm not as big a fan of those anymore, like, I mean, on the podcast, you know, we mostly do interviews, so, you know, I, I see which guests I can get interviews from, um, you know, uh, uh, but, you know, both autographs are really great, as I said, you know, I've been wanting to meet Kenny and Peter for a while, you know, both aren't getting any younger, so, you know, especially if Kenny, like, to be honest, you know, I mean, I, I feel like this could be Kenny's last invasion, if I'm being honest. Like, he really didn't seem in great health. I think it's going to get to the point in a year, at, at least, or, or at most, I think is what I meant to say. Um, I think he's only going to do conventions in the UK if he continues at all, but um, <laughs> that's just my honest overview. Um, but I'm very happy with both autographs. It was obviously great to finally meet both of them. And both of them were, you know, kind of, you know, relaxed, you know, and I think that's obviously good, you know, sometimes you hear um, stories which, but I didn't, 
I mean, Kenny, you know, I've always heard that he's nice, and Peter, I've heard mixed stories on him, but I've found him to be very nice and, and fine, you know, a bit reserved and laid back, but, you know, outside of the podcast, it's actually kind of what I'm like, um, so, yeah, I wasn't, it actually suited me like that, um, and I did actually give them both business cards for the podcast, and certainly in Peter's case, you know, he said we could do an interview possibly in the near future, like, okay, he said we may do, be interested, you know, obviously not confirmation, but I will be keeping an eye on my emails for sure, I, I always do, but even more so now, um, so that would be pretty exciting, I have to say, so, yeah, and both autographs, as I said, really good, um, Obviously, with the convention itself, as I said, there were a few things um, as a loyal supporter of the Invasion offense, you know, and considering the nostalgia for me and, you know, con continuing to go back because of the fact it was my first air convention, you know, um, so I'm not saying this, you know, in a really bad way, I'm just, you know, observing, basically, let's put it that way. Uh, I mean... I've always felt like Invasion, you know, while it's great and all, I felt like, you know, sometimes it didn't it spread on too long, if you know what I mean. Like, it didn't have enough events happening. Um, like, I remember a few years ago, I went to an Invasion. It was my second Invasion. I think the third one they did in Dublin. And there was, like, sometimes one, at least one or two hours between, like, a panel or whatever. And, you know... I found myself just wandering around the uh, the arena for most of that time, so... Um, and they've, you know, condensed it more recently, which is fine, but, like, then they made the decision this year that they did it in on Saturday and Sunday in two batches, like... Uh, and, you know, three-hour sessions, like, your ticket only allowed you into three hours of the event... And, you know, part of, you know, buying tickets for conventions really is that if you want to or have, you know, a lot of things to do, like, you can actually stay the whole day or just stay as long as you want. Like, this, I mean, I can't stand it maybe if, you know, the price was cheaper, but it was actually price at Invasion's usual price. And instead of the option to stay as long as you want, you actually had to go in for a specific three-hour time frame. It was like 10 to 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. I think. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was strange. I hope. I also hope it's. I hope that's another thing that doesn't become a trend at, at conventions. Like we've already seen um, this year, charging for selfies and pictures um, from someone's camera coming into conventions in Ireland this year, and that's also not good. Um, and it was present with one of the guests at this event as well. I won't name who, uh, but if you were attending, you would know. Um, so, yeah, I had to get that off my chest. I'll go into it in more depth in the report that I mentioned, the written report, because, you know, obviously there's only so much I can say on this video, and, you know, without boring anyone, um, well, maybe not necessarily boring anyone, but, you know, just... I mean, there's always so much time I can talk but, and all that on a video, whereas an article I can write a lot, um, a lot more and a lot more in depth. You know, I kind of feel like I'm not getting the point across properly, but hey ho. I mean, it was still a great event, you know, as it usually is. I mean, as I said, I always like to support it as much as possible by attending every year. You just, you just feel that way about your first convention, I guess. Um, so yeah, and it was great, of course to finally meet Peter and Kenny um, and get both of their autographs, you know, especially ahead of the upcoming film, The Force Awakens, which uh, we're all very excited for, as you can guess. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this whole video. There'll be more to come. I'm attending at least one more convention this year, which is in just a couple of weeks, actually. And, you know, I didn't get any interviews with any of the guests at Invasion. Hopefully, I will at Belfast Film and Comic Con at the end of the month. Um, so I tripped over that at Belfast Film and Comic Con at the end of the month. So thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you.